Welcome to Call Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schoen, where my nipples hurt. So that's Ian Andrews. Wait a minute. Oh, hers right here. Okay, it wasn't me then. No, no. Um, today, we're going to take a look at a, a Denizen Merchant Reserve, which is an eight year old rum. Yes, it's hot distilled. It's, it's got it both rum styles on it. It does. So, it's a, blend. it's a blend. He's got it. He's like, <laughs> boom, I know the words. I'm on, yeah. Um, I requested this specifically from the Denizen folks because I wanted it for Tiki Week. Um, prior to that, I wanted it to make a Mai Tai. It smells like a Mai Tai rum. <laughs> it is. Really? That's Mai Doesn't Tai. It? Um, Probably smells like halfway, halfway there. This was it, what what turned me on to this is that I was reading I was reading the Smuggler's Cove book, and he in in the Mai Tai section, which is actually at the end of the book, well, kind of near the end of the book, the whole history of this thing, and he called this out and said that Martin K, the author, had talked with the folks at Denison and said, I need you to make this rum, mm -hmm. so that they can then have it for Smuggler's Cove and everybody else. Oh, so he wanted this blend to be created. And just for just yes, for basically to make mai tais, basically to make mai tais. Uh, Trader Vic Bergeon, in, who one of the inventors of the mai tai, and I say one of them because there's at least three people vying for inventor, but he's won court cases, right. he's won tons of different battles to say he invented the mai tai. Regardless, every mai tai is different. So the mai tai he invented, which I believe everybody considers to be the epic version of a mai tai, has a Ray and nephew 17 year and a rum agricole or a Martinique rum. Okay. So Martinique rums are almost all rum agricole. I don't really know. We might have a rum agricole in here, but all hard set. It there's, a, there's hundreds of thousands. Unless we go through them. Oh, here's one. Carbon court? No. No. This Maison is one. Has one. This is a rum agricole. It deposits one. What is Maison? Maison, Maison has a rum agricole. Do they have one? Yeah. Product of Martinique. Yeah. Okay. So the 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 product a Martinique rum typically is agricole and agricole means that it's going to have like that earthy flavor yes right yeah, it so did, it's going to be vegetable. it's a different part of the sugar it's processing sugar juice distillation use, yeah and this tastes nothing like most rums people ex expect so when you call for Martinique rum you're you're almost assumed to be agricole but when Trader Vic explained it in books he said it was a dark light -like coffee and. Which, that's not. That's not. So they're like, Martinique's, they're all like a gold color. It may or may not be color added to this then. Or but. What do you think? Because age in oak barrels. It could be. Uh, but when you when you put that, the thing is, the, the Martinique rum he basically called for was a Martinique rum that wasn't a rum agricole at that time. Okay. So if you use so you a non, a little history investigation. And right. Which that, is yeah, what, things have changed. you know, Jeff Beach has done and uh, yeah. Jeff Berry and uh, uh, Martin Kate. So they, they wanted to reverse engineer this by going back in time. Hmm. The 17-year-old Ray nephew was gone. It was gone when Trader Vic was making their Mai Tai. Sure. So he said, well, what do I need to do? Because he, he, it's his most famous drink. So he's like, oh, I'll get the 15. So he started using the 15. Then the 15 started dying out, so he started using a, a blend of 15 and whatever else he could get. Right, just to and then keep that some of the flavor out. there. Yeah. So now there's nothing. So so when you want to create the Mai Tai, you There's probably no documentation how it was made. Back then, so and, and you don't it, well. I think it was a one on one. No, right? not the not the recipe. Oh, yeah, the, the rum itself. Right. So you, yeah. you the only thing they had was a St. James. They had some different options. Yeah. So this is supposed to be a Martinique rum that's not necessarily all full blown up in your grill rum agricole. Yet it still has R H U M. So it's Martinique. Right. And then the other side has rum because it's Jamaican. Porter, uh, Jamaican. Yeah. Right. Because it was one part Jamaican, which is the Ray so nephew. It's a blend of plumber style Jamaican rum and rum grande aroma de la Martinique. Right, so you've got that Martinique heritage, yeah. and you have a pot still, uh, which is going to give you a lot more flavor craziness. Right. Less, uh, less of a pure distillation right. process. So that is supposed to be, now, if you said, I want to create a Mai Tai the original way, which would be one part Jamaica, one part Martinique, you'd just do two parts of this, and you're done. Perfect. And when I saw that, I was like, I need that, and that's how we get to where we are right now. I'm going to take it. Yeah, you were David Oh yeah, now I can bring back. Oh, David. I took that off a while ago because I knew that was coming, but I needed to get through my transition. Smells so good. Aged eight years, so that's like sixteen or more years in in human. Yeah, you know, the in, amount in, for like Scotch aging. Yeah, in it's Scotch. Probably aging. closer to like forty. 20, yeah, it's it's old. So this is a, a an extremely well aged product, but it's real design. The thing that intrigues me is the just the my type. The history of it. Yeah. yeah. Has a forty-three percent alcohol, so it's slightly overproof. Oh, nice! Um, and a lot of that that story is summarized. I found in here as well. I was looking through it, and 
There's a whole section in their little booklet of historic significance, but they also have recipes, but I don't know. definitely a Mai Tai room, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, there's a Mai Tai right here. So their version of a Mai Tai is uh, two ounces of their rum, one ounce fresh lime juice, a half ounce orange curacao, quarter ounce simple syrup, which rich simple syrup, and then a quarter ounce orgeat, which is, I think, close to the, the one I'm going to create next week. Oh, perfect. We're going to use this. Mm -hmm. Perfect. It's strong. It's got a strong flavor to it. That's why you wait in time. Pay yeah. this. You just go up and wait. Oh, by the way. By the way, it your is. lips are burning because it's strong. Yeah. It's strong. It's sharp. It's got like definite defined flavor. The aging doesn't come out like a bright white oak. You see my flies everywhere? They're everywhere, dude. They're in the trash can. I have a whole ha house of um, flies. House of flies. It's like a, it's like a show. It's a Deftones album. Um, oh, is it? Yeah. No, well, that's not what I meant. I was kind of going to play off a of House of Lies, but Matt said that. Never mind. Neither here or there. Jar of flies. Jar of flies. Yeah. Alice in Chains. It? No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's, a, that's Alice in Chains. Maybe I'm thinking no, House of okay. Flies isn't. Uh, oh no. Anyway, we have a lot of fruit flies because there's a lot of fruit right here. <laughs> I'm wrong um, on Deftones. I think. Anyway. It's it doesn't have a lot of oak white oak flavor. It no. does have that age and dark richness. It does. Um, it's, 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 it's got a demerara. Like a, yeah, it's got that demerara flavor. One of it. the like, one of the two rums is a. De, uh, I think the Marmite almost the one. burnt sugar kind of. Correct, like yeah. that. Yeah, like brown sugar ish. Uh, I believe it's the the rum grand is the demerara style too. Uh, I, it's in there the Martinique rum. Yeah, because that's the other trick. It's a demerara rum is super hard to get. If you get, I mean, you can buy them. You can get El Dorado. Boom, right there. Um, or, or Hamilton, boom, right there. All of them are from the same distillery. They're just different blends from the same core. So I don't know where they're, if they have their own Demerara. Distillation run. process yeah. or they have their own there. source or something. Well, typically you'd have to go and get it near the Demerara River, okay. which is in, uh, you know, where Demerara is. Demerara's someplace in the south. Uh, uh, no. Nicaragua, wherever, below there. Uh, but I don't know if that's where they source it or if they just have Demerara sugars there and they use them to make it but it has that unique flavor brown sugars bright flavor yeah. it's going to cut through it's going to knock you down the a little flavor bit. you sweeten that up and the flavor is really going to be nice right. so but once you add your juices and your orgeat it's going to be great if you look at the historically this is pretty much inspired by a daiquiri i mean you yeah. got your rum your lime you've got your sour your lime your sweet the, all you're really doing is you're bringing in some orgeat and a little bit of orange curacao it's yeah. not revolutionizing the industry but it's a very popular drink. And well, the, the ratios are very, for. it's a two one one. I mean, it's two ounces of rum, one ounce lime juice, and then between simple yeah, rock candy, though. simple orgeat and the curacao, which is sweet, you get another one. So mm -hmm. it is a daiquiri almost. It's, yeah, it's just got a little bit more of an almond orangey thing playing in there yeah. with the strong rum. With the strong rum, yeah. instead of like a white rum. Well, I mean, these, these guys, Don Beach, Vic, they all went over across the Caribbean saw the daiquiri where loved the daiquiri and were like I want one like that but I right. need to put my own spin on it it's the base so it makes sense where everything goes yeah. um, so I, I'm excited to be able to use that in the product it does have that nice demer but it's not overdone Tiki Lives Matter Tiki Lives <laughs> Matter <laughs> hashtag yeah um, so I would highly suggest besides the fact that it's tasty and it it's got that nice aged and weight to it, it um, it's historically needed I know you're not going to like this idea, but it reminds me a little <laughs> bit of Brugal. The, uh, but Brugal is definitely... It doesn't like, have enough seawater. Like without the harbor. Without tasting like the oh, ocean. Yeah. It's got I'm that same kind of yeah. kick to it. I'm getting a little bit more of a fruit as opposed to the dirty water. Yes. Or whatever it is. that I don't know what it is that gives it that harbor flavor. Smell. Whatever. Fish? Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, I want to like Brugal. I mean, it's like... It's a Dominican rum and there's not a lot of different brands. So I thought, you know... You want to. Have, yeah. But you can't. Right. But I like a blend. I also like Denison's, the, the three-year that we used to have that we went through all right, mm, that I've had for that. many years. Good. So if you see a Denison product, I would definitely pick it up without even... Derek gives it six out of five stars. Uh, and this, wow. besides it having... That's something. I mean, I've had really good rums, and this is up there with those. It's not as, for instance, later on, I'd, I hope to get to this Don, Don Q signature release. Mm. It... It has a, I hope to do. Yeah, and it, it has a really nice, this has a good dynamic flavor, which is needed for a very simple cocktail. Yes. Like the Mai Tai. You want your rum to shine through on a Mai Tai or something. Right. Yeah. Buy five bottles of that. You don't and want to be mass and just be a, a alcohol with a bunch of juices and syrups. You want right. 
flavor. Exactly. And for all those that have been on Mai Tai cruises, have things of all weird colors and, and shapes and sizes, if you really want to make a real Mai Tai the way that others have inspired to make tiki farms or tiki uh, <laughs> restaurants and, and, you know, the Smuggler's Cove guys and all them were inspired at a young age to be able to build these cool restaurants, it's the Mai Tai and these type of things that did. Yeah. Not the stuff you get on a on a. Do you have a ukulele? I do not have. Should I get a ukulele for next week? Yeah, we can make a song. <laughs> <laughs> a, tiki, a tiki week intro song. What if I just have? What if we can do it on guitars? We get a small guitar and a bigger person. I can be the big person. Uh, I just need to find a smaller guitar. All right. <laughs> Doc had a ukulele, didn't he? Doc has always got weird What's things. That? Oh, does she? Oh, of course, I don't know anything about how to play a ukulele because it doesn't have frets. Tiki farms matter. Tiki farms matter. That's it, my friends. Get yourself some denizen. You will see this in next week's episodes because this has to go up this week. Yeah. I don't know when this is going up. But wait, these are coming soon. It's coming soon. We're teaching you how to drink. To a YouTube near you. Now that's sexy. Yeah, put that over here. Sex in a glass. <laughs> Don't write that. That's <laughs> tight joints. Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. Maybe Jennifer's gonna hit us up a photo. Awesome. Sure. Uh